た坂を胸にしっかりとしっかりと受け止めて戦っていきます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。And that was the election cars, and it's election season right now. And they go around and they just wave and basically say the guy's name over and over and over and over and over again. And,、uh, you know, I mean, I know they do speeches and stuff, but the elections are really, really different in Japan than what they are in the States. And I don't really understand it, which that's okay because I can't vote anyway, and my wife doesn't vote. and... I didn't really want to get involved with politics here because, like, you know, like Facebook and politics and stuff back home is just maddening and crazy. And,、uh, you know, I just didn't want to be bothered with it. You know, sometimes, you know, people say ignorance is bliss. And,、uh, you know, I'm, I'm still kind of informed on what's going on back home. But, <laughs> dude, if I start getting worried about stuff here and there, it's going to be. Like a never ending stress, never ending anxiety, and、uh, I'm just trying to enjoy my time here. But,、uh, anyways, let's head into the convenience store right up here, and we're gonna see what kind of good stuff we can get for lunch. And this is the Gyu Skiyaki Man. Skiyaki is a type of. Skiyaki is a type of Japanese, like a beef dish, and it has its own sauce. And you cook the beef and everything. And then usually what you end up doing is dipping it in some raw egg, and it is really, really good. And this is trying to capture that in a. Uh, Nikiman, or、uh, I think in America everybody calls them steamed buns. Mm, mm, mm. I love these things. This is not my first time eating one of these. I'll show you the inside here in a second. And there you can see, let me pull back, let me focus a little bit. You can see the beef, and in the middle, that、uh, oozing yellow stuff is like raw egg, and、uh, it's really good. And raw eggs are okay, unlike the United States.、Uh, The way that they process them does not leave you susceptible to getting some kind of uh, uh, disease or something. So,、uh, really good. And、uh, that'll be like if I ever come back to the United States, that will be one of the things I miss the most is the use of raw eggs and stuff. But this paper is getting stuck on this bun. And I'm probably going to end up dropping this whole thing. Let me put this down real fast. Atatatakai. Atatakai. Atatakai chai. And、uh, chai tea, if you don't know, it's kind of like a royal milk tea with some spices.、Uh, in particular, this is cinnamon, ginger, clove, cardamom, nutmeg, and pepper. And I do love chai tea. And、uh, this one,、uh, it's a little bit mild, but it's, it's really good. So I really, really enjoy this one.、Mm. Don't want to waste any of it on the mustache. Parked right next to my car is this Honda tank truck with the Pixie sticker. And the most interesting thing, and I've been wanting to show it, but I, I really couldn't waste the whole video, is even though it is a Honda, they have put a Rally Art sticker on the back. So,、uh, the Mitsubishi Honda K truck? I don't know. Anyways, we're going to go this way, and I have to take a package to the post office.、Um, I got a package for my friends Shayna and Skylar, and they live in Iwakuni. And、uh, I just went up this last weekend to go to a drift event that was up there, and it was a lot of fun.
find you show you too much because I got to get rid of my 2018 footage and that's going to be the first event of 2019 that I show coming up probably around the end of March but we're going to walk to the post office real fast because I want to mail this to them to say thank you because they they got me a pass and they let me stay on base so that I could have some place to stay and then have to sleep in my car so when people are good to you you got to be good to them back and uh, it's a little bit of a walk so I thought I'll use this opportunity to talk about something that y'all been asking me about and I haven't really done an update in a long time for this, but uh, the house. And I know a lot of y'all were like, well, what, what was happening with the house? And we did a wait a while because they were having to do like, uh, how do I want to say this? Uh, I was getting an estimate to get everything repaired. So they were checking everything out. And it was my friend's dad that was doing it. And after they checked out the house, they said, you know what? They're like, you should just pass on this house because the crack is too big. And if that wire mesh behind the wall is cracking, it's going to keep cracking. And you're potentially going to have to maybe fix something every year. So you could be looking at like $10,000 a year on repairing this. And I didn't want to get into that. There's a really loud backhoe behind me. So I'm going to stop this video real fast and we'll continue when we're can hear what the heck's going on so anyways i did decide to pass hold on sign i did decide to pass on getting that house and like dude i really like the layout and i really like the design and if we could have fixed it at a decent price that would have been awesome but i mean the house was the house was about twelve thousand. but then if we had to put a hundred thousand a year into fixing it i mean dude for, for like the next four or five years, that's gonna make that house like 60 or 70,000. I can buy cheap land out in the countryside and I can build a new house, probably like a small house that would be okay for me and Chino. I could build a small house brand new for that. So now I wouldn't have got the tax incentives and stuff because you know, it's not an older house. And so the taxes would have been more expensive. But I mean, I can't really justify can't really justify you know upwards of like $65,000 on a house that old that's crumbling out from underneath of us so for the guys that have been wondering about what's going on with the house that was a sad but hard pass and uh, you know we're gonna keep our eyes open uh, to see if there's any more houses see if we can find you know any more I mean hell who knows who knows what the future holds it could be uh, completely different so it is what it is.